Welcome Scorpio to your weekly love reading for December 18th to the 24th of 2017. So we want to see what's going on with you via the 10 card Celtic cross spread. Scorpio in love for December 18th to the 24th of 2017. Scorpio in love for December 18th to the 24th of 2017. So we do have the Queen of Wands, um, <laughs> Swords in reverse, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but some of you are dealing with uh, someone who's very moody. Um, I feel like this could be your energy as well. Very tense, uh, frustrated by someone, someone's decision or lack thereof, and maybe of your own. Um, you're dealing with someone that's very um, harsh, I feel. They're not happy with you, you're not happy with someone else, and you're dealing with some heartbreak. Um, how someone may be treating you and I feel like this is something that's been lingering I'm um, going on for a while so the emotional state is very tense anytime I see the three of swords I feel like it's like a um, a cup card you know because the heart is involved so um, the emotional state which you're thinking about um, it's, it's healing it's getting there but it's still intense I feel for many of you out there and it could be because you're still dealing with third-party situation that just won't go away or resolve itself um, and there is some jealousy um, delays that's going on maybe with a Pisces Scorpio or cancer but this is your own energy of being you know sometimes suspicious you know things not coming through um, clarity not happening for you so um, definitely some frustration going on in the recent past the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse so another person is showing up three people so far maybe a Capricorn Virgo or Taurus a decision in love maybe between two people someone in your past someone in your future who's waiting for you um, just depends but um, being distracted emotionally I feel maybe financially you may not feel very driven um, that can change but this is something being bored and feeling stuck now the towers in reverse so many of you are potentially like resisting uh, the inevitable like you know that some kind of change is coming but you're not wanting to go along with it just yet um, others of you or if you feel like a situation is running from you you try to fix it you may reach out to your partner or someone to see what they're going through to make sure that they know you still are around but that's the fear of letting go not wanting this to happen this needs to happen in order for something to get better so um, keep that in mind all right the near future is the king of swords in reverse so there is some definitely some lies going on some deception where either you're not telling the truth someone is not letting you know what's going on and if you are dealing with someone like that it's it's hurtful you know because you want the truth you want clarity maybe you want to be able to tell the truth but for some reason someone's holding back um purposely like ignoring being cold and harsh and saying certain things to maybe cover up their tracks um or vice versa in a situation here now your energy uh, with it all happening you are trying to rest you're trying to recharge just take a break from um, what you're thinking about the things that you may be saying so you may not really be communicating if you're forced to you're coming through um, very intense I feel all right now how others may be seeing you which you're going through maybe around the home doing different things focusing on maybe the husband wife um, something like that even at home if you're in a relationship that you're not liking to be in you are just being there and you're not really letting that person know you're just tolerating the situation so you know I was just got to say something like that I feel for some of you you may be in something where you're just tolerating it and you want to get out of it but this is a Capricorn Virgo or Taurus that you're dealing with but I feel like this is really focusing on your stability the home environment you may be around a whole bunch of different people okay that's what I kind of see in the home and it could affect your relationship because you could be with your partner and with others in the home and you're not liking that maybe you want to get out of there you know now temperance is here in a position of what your partner may be going through so they're trying to be patient with you they're trying to be tolerant they may be dealing with another person who could be bothering them and maybe you know about this maybe there are threats and things like that going on maybe they feel like they need to help that other person out so they are trying their best to deal with that in that situation you too um, maybe to keep you two from getting into a fight or argument or something like that I feel for some of you out there so um, there may be some conflicts that they are dealing with could be with a Sagittarius and then the five of Pentacles is here so uh, maybe 
there's something that you're spending money on, you're buying, and then you're feeling like you're broke, or you're feeling alone, um, you're feeling abandoned or away from your partner right now. Things may not be clicking, and even if you are around for one another, you know, there, the arguments and fights and disputes could be having you feeling like that, all right? So let's clarify the tower in reverse for Scorpio. Clarify tower in reverse for Scorpio. Let's see. Whoa, hold on. Clarify tower in reverse for Scorpio. And we do have the Six of Cups. So many of you are still yearning for a past person. Or they could still be dealing with someone from the past where they're not really moving on from them. Maybe because you two have um, children that are connected. Or maybe because that person has children and the kids don't agree with that relationship. Um, some of you may be dealing with something like that. It could be jealousy. It could be very possessive of their <laughs> mother or father or something like that. Let's see. Um, clarify the Three of Swords in reverse for Scorpio. And the Fool is here. So I feel... Again, you may be starting over, and some of you are healing from that, you know, being single, letting go, uh, before you are to get into a relationship with someone else, and still dealing with something that's not really moving or changing, so you have to let go. You're being forced to. All right, could be dealing with an Aries, some. Clarify the uh, King of Swords in reverse, or Scorpio. Yeah, Seven of Swords is here. Someone is being uh, manipulative and very dishonest about something. And let's see. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Seven of Swords. And the Four of Cups is here. So purposely, um, either you or the other person is... It's like a revenge kind of thing, I almost feel. Purposely making someone feel hurtful. Maybe because of a past... Um, something that happened in the past someone may be liking someone maybe at a younger time when you were younger uh, through childhood and then it's like this revenge as time moves on or something has happened with someone hurt someone else and now it's like their time to get them back something like that is going on i feel let's clarify the uh five of pentacles for you let's clarify the five of pentacles for scorpio you do have the two of cups and you're separated from your soulmate all right for a lot of you out there all right and let's clarify temperance for your partner if you're dealing with someone getting to know them provide temperance for partner, scorpion partner. and the eight of cups it seems like they're moving away from uh something uh, something that they've been involved in maybe for a while even your own relationship moving on from it and still having to uh, be calm with you so you two don't get into conflict or another person are still you know, that still remains the story so let's see um messages for scorpio romance angels for december 18th of 24 2017 trust the situation is calling for you to have faith this is the card to say don't get into conflict. Try not to go to extremes when you're trying to get something to happen because, you know, as you cling on to things, you know, it keeps you stuck. So try to let go. All right. Messages for Scorpio for December 18th to the 24th of 2017. Try your best. And forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments for letting go of the desire to get revenge on somebody. Um, the resentment that you have, which could be extreme. And moving on from someone who did hurt you uh, severely, um, maybe once or twice or three times, it just depends, but trying to let that go, all right? So those are your messages uh, for the week. I do hope that they help you out. Lots of love to you, lots of light. And remember that if you would like a private or personal reading that's going to relate directly to your energy, you can go to the website, psychicglovehills.com to schedule something for you, okay? So have a good one.